Hey there guys, this is Robin Hood here bringing you some Planet Side 2 action today. Uh, right now I was playing as my Vanu character, playing as the Light Assault class, and we are currently defending Freyr Amp Station on Esamir. Now, the day before this, I was actually playing with a bunch of guys, and we, along with everyone else playing the Vanu on this continent at the time, uh, managed to conquer the entire map. And this day, our opponents, the new conglomerate and the Terran Republic, were making a push back, so we are now on the defensive, and uh, we're right outside Freyr Amp Station, so we're not in a bad defensive position, considering we're not on the walls. By being outside of it, it's preventing them from getting even close to it. Uh, once you're on the walls, although sometimes you can defend it, usually they end up pushing inside, and then that's when it gets really difficult. But this is going to be a really long battle, and I've cut it down to a little bit over 10 minutes, 11 minutes for you guys. Um, but we fought a whole day-long cycle in the game, that is, uh, on this little ridge line outside of Freyr Amp Station. And today, instead of playing with a massive squad, I was playing with my one friend, Joe Blackjack, and uh, he is sniping right now, so he's a little bit farther back, off to the right, trying to get some good flanking positions. But yeah, this is going to be a uh, massive battle on this little ridge. There's our guys on this side and the new conglomerate on the other, and that guy just got the living crap blown out of him. But you can see we're taking these guys down. They're just on the other side of the ridge, so there's a lot of little charges where every now and then we'll charge over the ridge, then they will. Uh, every now and then someone will take the ridge, then the other team will take it back. It was all very interesting. And uh, as of right now, Light Assault is definitely my favorite class, just because I always do the best with it. One, because I played the most as it, so, or at least with the Vanu, that is, so I'm very accustomed to the weapon. You guys will probably notice that I have uh, decent control of this weapon's recoil, and that grenade is going to take out, like, eight guys. Very good throw by, uh, what's his name, Bertel or whatever. But, yeah, and then also, a lot of times you can get a ton of kills with this class because of your jump jets. You can jump around behind them and get to places where they don't expect you to come from. And so a lot of times you'll be shooting guys who have their backs turned to you, which uh, gives them a very slim chance unless you suck at aiming or it's just a bad position of actually surviving and killing you. But as you can see, we're still fighting on this hillside and um, I'm playing as infantry so is my friend but around this hillside off to the left and stuff there are tank battles going on uh, on the other sides of the amp station this was just the most infantry centralized area because it's kinda difficult for the tanks to get up this hillside you can see just a lot of peeking this hill, taking guys down. I see another grenade come into that same spot, and I am not sticking around for this one to explode, especially after what happened the last time. And so we're just trying to clear these guys out and push forward. And um, there's a flanking movement going on to the right, which is where my buddy is, and uh, that is also being hotly contested. And right now you can see there's just tons of guys on this other side of the ridge. It's like two different worlds almost. And right here I run out of ammo. So I've only got my pistol left, uh, no shields, and I'm going to finally be taken down. But that was a pretty good little streak there. Although for some reason the statistics for this territory in the game uh, were not registering what I was doing. So it had me at zero kills, zero deaths the whole time in this battle and in uh, last place on the roster. But for some reason here, I decided to switch to the Heavy Support class. Or Heavy Assault, as it's actually called. I kind of mixed Planet Side and Battlefield right now, uh, just because of the LMG kind of deal. But yeah, it didn't work out that well for me, and I switched back. I, for some reason, I was just feeling the bigger magazine, you know, would help me if I peaked that hill. Uh, but you take so much fire, it wasn't really going to work anyways. And then here, I did spawn a Mag Rider for a second. Although, I am going to end up getting taken down pretty quickly. Because I was going to attempt to push this hill with tanks. And uh, there's a tank over here that got called out. 
So I'm going to take this guy down. There we go. And then in a second, I'm going to get taken down. Uh, I'm going to repair, switch to engineer, just because whenever I do jump in a vehicle, try to be engineer, especially because of the times that I have uh, spawned in a scythe and ended up dying because I was an engineer. But, you know, just taking out a few guys. Don't notice this tank to my left right away. And I'm actually going to get the first shot off on him, but he's going to back up. And uh, there's just, with the infantry to the right, going to be too many things for me to actually take down. And right now, I should have kept paying attention to that tank, which was my mistake. Uh, he's going to keep shooting me. And there, I actually purposely tried to shoot behind him because there was a group of infantry there. Um, I should have tried to do as much damage to the tank as possible, so that was just a bad decision, especially considering it didn't pay off because I actually missed the group of infantry. But now I'm back on foot as engineer, uh, trying to pick off this guy up here who is standing still for me, and then he ends up backing away. And uh, the reason he was surviving is because he had that turret in front of him. So the shields on that thing were protecting him from my rounds, but still registering the hit markers for me. You can still see him up on that ridge line, uh, firing from that turret. And then as I cross this road here and go back up the hill into combat, we are going to uh, end up dying again. Or I am, that is. Now, we would not have been able to keep this forward defensive had we not had a uh, Sunderer there with us, because what was happening is we were all spawning on this Sunderer, which was on the road behind me, which has now been taken out by the tank push uh, that the new conglomerate was doing, which we're actually going to push back, and this here is a little bit later. Um, I actually got in a scythe for a few minutes and then ended up going somewhere else because I got sidetracked on the way here. Then when I got taken down, I spawned back here and this battle was still going on and uh, Joe Blackjack was here the whole time. But I'm back as Light Assault, killing some more guys on this ridge line. And uh, you can now see that it is nighttime. So this battle has been going all day long. That is in the game, not like a 24 hour actual day. And we're just trying to take guys down, and then pretty soon here, I'm going to try uh, flanking on the left, and then eventually flanking on the right. And earlier on, Joe Blackjack was flanking the right, and it wasn't working. And right here, I sped it up, because I was just trying to get someone to give me health, but they wouldn't. So I'm going to get one more kill and end up dying in just a second. Um, but this is going to be actually when I try to flank left, and kind of get healed there. Uh, and the flank left, it actually could have worked, but I kind of mess up in a second, so you can see I'm looking around, trying to get someone to heal me. I'm going to pick up ammo. It's uh, really nice when people put ammo down, because it's a ways to run to go get some, and earlier on when I ran out of ammo that you guys saw in this video, it cost me my life. So we're sitting here, trying to take out a few guys, and this is when... I'm going to follow a few other guys on the push uh, to the left. There's no one over here right now where earlier there were. So new conglomerate resistance is slightly dying off. And in the end, although um, I did not show it, there's a certain point in this video where, like, my last life, uh, where there was really a ton of combat going on. Then after that, we cleared them on and managed to, or cleared them off, I don't know why I said cleared them on, and managed to actually uh, push back this assault and reconquer the rest of the map. But this is my flank to the right, and there's quite a bit of guys up here. There are several infiltrators, and uh, these were the guys that I actually died to a few times earlier on in the video, just picking off us from this back hill when we peaked on the ridge line behind me. So you can see Joe Blackjack's actually going to put a round into that guy's head, hence why I only got the assist there. So very good sniper shot. And we're going to keep pushing this right side. We're the only Vanu over here at the moment, catching these guys completely unawares. So keep pushing forward. Two more infiltrators sitting here doing their thing. And uh, that thing happens to be dying at the moment as I have arrived. And then when I come over here, this is actually where these guys are 
well, there's quite a few of them in this building, not their spawn room. I thought it might have, but now that you see that there's no blue shield on that door, it means it is not their spawn room because uh, we can go in there. But, yeah, these these guys are all in this building. There's quite a few of them up top, which I'm actually not looking at. And then this guy is going to kill me here. So I'm going to work my way back around. And here we are, and remember, I'm Light Assault, and this is what I was talking about earlier. Uh, catching your enemy in ways that they don't expect because you have the jump jets. You can see these guys up here. I was thinking about shooting them, but I'm like, you know what? I can actually get up there, and they do not expect it. So I'm going to take this guy down. And not just him, but several of his buddies as well crouch down. This guy tried to active camo and survive. And then right here, I'm jumping around. This guy has terrible aim, and suddenly my aim went to crap. Um, I probably, almost certainly could have killed those last two guys there had my ar aim, that is not arm, stayed on target like it is there. That was a pretty medium range shot uh, done very quickly. And that guy, you could tell, had his shields. Maybe not all of them, not sure. But this guy here has his overshields of the heavy class, and then I'm going to get taken down one more time. After this, the resistance kind of died off, and we took the rest of the base. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that video. Uh, pretty cool adventure there, and expect a lot more soon. Thank you all for watching, and subscribe for more.